We've opened it. We've play tested it. We've even played Minecraft with it. But today, we'll be doing the one thing that most of you are probably looking forward to. We're running it via Oculus Link with USB 2. Basically, if you don't know, you can connect the Oculus Quest 2 to your PC via an Oculus Link cable, which goes from Type-C on one end to Type-C on another end. Issue is that for me, well, I don't have a Type-C port anywhere on my PC. So I simply got a Type-C to Type-A 3.1 adapter, and so far it's been doing the job well. But what if you don't have a fancy USB 3.1 port? What if you just have a 3.0 port, or maybe even a 2.0 port? Can you still play the Quest 2 via your PC that way? Well, it's time we find out. So let's go through these, starting with USB 3.0. I've already ran 3.1 in my other videos, talking about Oculus Link thingy, link cable, this. Okay, we should be running Google Earth VR, in theory. In theory, we should be. It's detecting as being, uh, it's reporting as being connected on the PC. And as you can see, I am running it. But for some reason, Inside a headset, all I see is nothing. And as you can see here, it's detecting the Quest 2. But for some reason, it's already being a bit weird. All I see is just loading. And then the three little dots. That's it. Maybe it's just being shy, you know? Let's connect it up again. And see if it'll actually work. There we go. Let's connect it up. There we go, now I have a, saying, a thing saying allow access, yes. Oh, it's time to create a guardian, I don't want a guardian. Is it actually going to load this time? That's the real question. There we go, cool. And it's not working. Why? I hear music. But all I see is darkness. Am I dying? Is this what death feels like? I can just hear melancholy music playing over darkness. I don't feel comfortable with this game. Okay, maybe it's uh, Google VR. Maybe it's having a bit of a bad day. Let's try Subnautica. Okay, so Subnautica does work. It worked completely fine. But now, let's try to take it to the extreme. The one thing you're all looking forward to, go all the way to USB 2.0. I mean, really, what's wrong with you? You want to see this poor VR headset suffer like that, having to deal with a... Um, USB 2.0 port, what's actually wrong with you? you? You sicken me, you know? Okay, so we are in USB 2, it's detecting it, but look at that. It's a there's a little warning here that's saying that USB 3 is recommended, but it looks like, I mean, hopefully we should still get a good performance in just USB 2, hopefully, or it should at least work in USB 2, which makes it even more confusing why on earth, why on earth do they just sell the cable Type-C to Type-C. If as far back as USB 3.0 doesn't have such warning, why can they also sell a Type-C to Type-A 3.0 cable? I really don't get that. Let's see if that's going to be like. Guardian not found. Like I care. Okay, it's launched. But if it's going to work, I'm in. You're playing on the Quest 2. In USB 2.0. Completely fine. So then, Mr. Zuck, explain to me the logic of only selling the cable that's Type-C to Type-C when you could also be selling ones that are Type-C to Type-A, because Type-C is still very rare on people's PCs. If someone could explain that logic to me, that would be fantastic. Now, how do I, how do I get my C glide out? No, I don't want to Build, give me my C glide. I don't want to place a solar panel. I'm pressing all the buttons. I'm not asking you to make love. I'm not asking you for a million pounds. I'm just asking for my C glide. Please. Hello. C glide, where are thou? No, but seriously, how on earth do I get my C glide? I've pressed every button. Yes, that thing. How do I equip it? Equip. Oh my word. Okay, I need to go up for air anyway. I've pressed every button. I That's one thing I've noticed in pretty much every single VR experience I've tried so far. Is that the control scheme makes no sense. But anyway, as you can see. Okay, you can't really see much, but the frame rate, exactly the same. I could not tell you. Like, look, that... 
Look how glorious it looks like. Okay, you can't see now, but like, let me go a bit further down. As you can see, it's still playing very well. Like, there's no difference in FPS at all. No difference in quality. No, nothing. It's exactly the same. I don't get that. Facebook. Facebook. Where on earth is the logic? I'm not going crazy, aren't I? There's completely no difference. Okay, then. Well, as you can see, Facebook lied. You can totally play this thing in a USB 2.0. So if you don't have a PC that has USB Type-C, or even USB 3.0, if they're all busy with something else, well, clearly it does not matter. So why on earth could that be? USB 2.0 is notoriously slow. How on earth could it still support such an advanced VR headset? But at the end of the day, all it's really doing is just streaming video. Your graphics card and your CPU, they do all the work, and then all they do is just stream that over frame after frame to your VR headset. And high res video, high FPS, high res video, which is what we're dealing with here on the Quest 2, because remember, it, it works at a very high resolution and high refresh rate. Well, clearly, that doesn't even come close to saturating the connection, which is pretty cool. And that also may mean that you may not even need a super expensive Oculus Link cable. Because remember, this thing here costs around, what, $100, this cable? The cable itself costs almost $100. So you could probably go for a even a cheapo Type-C to Type-A cable, and you could still have a great experience. Just do make sure it is long enough. This thing does have the benefit that it is super long, it's like five meters. So clearly, the cable doesn't really matter as much as we're led to believe. So if you're a cheapskate, we can easily pull this off with just a cheapo Type-C to Type-A 2.0 cable and you can still have a great time, as long as you of course have a PC to back it up. So now that you won't be buying the super expensive cable, what could you use all that spend money for? Maybe support my channel Patreon, because even $1 a month goes a long way in helping my channel and allows me to make way better videos on way more interesting topics. So I'd also love to have my patrons Gavin Burns, LKB, Naomi Sushi, Ryan, Tiffany Jacobs, and Wolfie, thank you all so so much. See, I care so much about you that I can memorize them all from memory. Memorize them all from memory, that, that makes no sense. Anyway, down there you used to find our Amazon Associates links where you can buy the quest to yourself. And also our oh, Discord if you want to talk to me or about this or what to ask really. And that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't remember to subscribe, like whatever. And I'll see you all in what that next. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye.